Hey everyone, welcome back to the JavaScript course. So in this video, we'll be looking into the promises inside of JavaScript. And if you find this interesting, let's get started right away. So in this video, we'll be exploring about the promises inside of JavaScript. So inside my VS code, I've opened up my index.html file, my style.css file as well as my script.js file. So there is some basic boilerplate code present inside my index file over here. And inside my style.css file, there is some basic uh, styling given. And inside my uh, script.js file, so there is some basic console.log message, okay? So now let's start uh, exploring about the promises inside of JavaScript, okay? So what exactly is a promise, right? So promises are basically uh, used to execute uh, or handle uh, the asynchronous tasks or operations inside of a, inside of a JavaScript file or, or, or JavaScript code, okay? So that's the ba uh, basic uses uh, of promises, okay? So uh, firstly, let us uh, understand what does a promise exactly contain, okay? So promises basically have different kinds of state, okay, inside of them, okay? So we basically have three to four states. So the first one is called as the pending state, okay? So after that we have is, after the pending state, we have the resolved state, Okay, so we're gonna say resolved state. After that we have is the rejected state. Okay, so finally the fourth one is called as the fulfilled state. So we're gonna say fulfilled state. So these are some of the four states that the promises comprises of, okay? So firstly, uh, we'll talk about the pending state. So the pending state is when uh, the promise is neither uh, resolved nor rejected. So that case is known as a pending state, okay? So let's say uh, we talk about the second one that is the resolved state. So in case the promise gets resolved, so that is if the operation is successful, that is if the promise is correctly resolved, then in that case, it's, it's gonna be called as the resolved state, okay? So now the third one is the rejected state, okay? So if in case the promise is rejected for some reason, or if the operation is, if, or, or if the asynchronous operation is not executed, then in that case, uh, this promise is said to be rejected. So it goes into the rejected state, okay? So fulfilled state is uh, after it has been resolved, it comes into the fulfilled state, okay? So these are some of the states inside of the promises. So we'll be understanding promises with the help of a better example. So let's initialize a promise. So we're gonna say const promise equals to new promise okay so this is pretty much going to take in a callback that is resolve and reject okay so firstly let us console.log this promise value and then check what exactly is that okay so we're going to say promise over here and then pretty much save the file okay so yeah there you go uh, it is in it is currently inside the so this is a promise object that we are returning and it is currently in the pending state. So you can see the promise state that is pending and the promise result is currently undefined. So as I told, we have four states, okay? So let's say we just resolve something over here. So we're gonna say resolve. So we're gonna say this promise has been, has been resolved, okay? So let's write that out correctly. So save the file. So over here, yeah, so there you go. Now we get the state of fulfilled. So that means if in case the pro, uh, the promise has been resolved, it, it comes into the final fulfilled state, okay? So for that reason, over here, uh, the, I, as you can see, the promise, uh, the promise state is fulfilled and the promise result is this promise has been resolved, okay? So that's the way this thing works. So basically it is currently resolved. So let's say I remove resolve and say reject, okay? So we're gonna say reject and over here we're gonna say this promise has been rejected okay so this pro this promise has been rejected so this is the message we're gonna pass inside the reject method okay so let's currently save the file and let's come back to our console over here yeah so there you go over here uh, inside a promise object we are getting the state has rejected so currently the promise state is rejected and the promise result is uh this, this promise has been rejected, right? So basically this gives us an error which says, an uncaught error which says this promise has been rejected. So this is, this is the third state that is the rejected state. 
so essentially uh, before before uh, looking into the the next type of promises we'll be understanding uh, the synchronous programming and the asynchronous programming okay so let us write that over here so we're gonna say synchronous programming and next we have is asynchronous <coughs> programming okay so basically what is going to happen is over here so uh, promises are used to handle basically asynchronous uh, operations right inside of javascript so firstly let's understand what is synchronous programming and asynchronous programming okay so synchronous programming is a programming in which uh, the code gets executed line by line so whatever is there inside the script file it it gets uh, executed uh, sequentially so this uh, this type of programming is called as uh, synchronous programming okay so firstly let us uh, understand that with the help of a better example so we're just going to say console.log we're going to say a and we're going to say console.log we're going to say b okay we're going to say console.log we're going to say c okay so pretty much on line number 19 21 and 23 we are just trying to access we, we, we're just trying to consult log a b and c values okay so this met this type of programming is called as uh, synchronous programming basically all of these console.logs gets executed line by line okay it's not the case that uh, first uh, first we print a and then we print c and after after that we print b right so that's not the case so inside the console we should be seeing a b c right so let's save the file once <coughs> Come back to the console yeah so there you go abc so this is uh, so this method is basically called as the synchronous programming so each and every code that we write inside a script file gets executed line by line it's not the case that yeah as i already told c gets come c comes first and then after that b a comes and after that b gets executed it's not that case so whatever we write uh, gets executed in a sequential manner okay so that's it about this uh, the synchronous programming part so now let's move on to the asynchronous programming okay so we're going to say console.log we're going to say start 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 value let's pretty much comment this out okay for now and after this uh, for asynchronous programming we'll be making use of the set timeout method to understand that so we're going to say set timeout so this is going to take in a callback okay so let's write that correctly so over here inside the set timeout method will be again console.logging a value so here we're going to say middle value okay so the, uh, the second parameter in the set timeout is the number of milliseconds we need to pass okay let's say we pass 3000 milliseconds that equals uh, three seconds okay so after that uh let's again write a console.log message that is end value okay so this method is called so this kind of programming is called as basically asynchronous programming that is from line number 26 to 32 over here firstly we have the console.log message so this gets printed inside the console that is straight okay okay after that we have is a set timeout function so this is going to run after 3000 seconds so will javascript like wait for 3000 seconds yeah and then console.log this method this value and then come to this no that's not going to happen what, what is going to happen is it's going to print first a start value it's going to come over here and since this is a asynchronous operation it's not going to execute this at all okay it's it's directly going to come to the the third console.log because this is a synchronous operation and it's going to print end value okay so after this timer gets expired that is after a sec uh, after three seconds uh it is going to uh, it's going to execute this value that is the middle value okay so that's how the asynchronous operation works so basically javascript uh, engine firstly executes all the uh, synchronous code that is present and after that it moves into the asynchronous operations that is basically set timeout and promises callbacks and all, all kinds of operations like that okay so inside the console we should be seeing firstly start value and then end value and after that we we will see middle value after three seconds so let's save the file 
let's check out the console so start value end value so after three seconds we get middle value in the console okay so as i told firstly uh synchronous gets executed then afterwards we execute uh the asynchronous uh, code okay so that's the basics about the promises so these are uh, we discuss about different uh, promises states that is the pending resolved rejected and fulfilled and we understood the basics of the synchronous programming as well as the asynchronous programming inside of javascript okay so i think uh, that's it about the basics of the promises video we'll be looking into a better approach of promise inside uh, in the next video basically so i think uh, that's it for this video uh, so let's see you in the next video and then thank you for watching